Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Roundy. Glad you could join me again. Today's math lesson is going to be on variables and expressions. So, let's get started. Welcome to today's lesson on variables and expressions. We'll go ahead and make this full screen and we'll get started. Let's start with today's objectives. Today's objectives are first, recognize and explain variables. Second, explain what an algebraic expression is and last, write expressions that have variables. So let's start with our first objective, variable. A variable is a letter that represents a number. An example would be having an expression like five plus z. I know this seems a little weird. Usually we're not used to having letters in a math problem, but you'll get the point by the end of the lesson. An algebraic expression is a mathematical expression, kind of like a numerical expression from our previous lessons, except for that it contains numbers, operations, and variables. The variables is what separates algebraic expressions from numeric expressions. An example of an algebraic expression, 12 divided by y. Kind of weird, dividing by a letter. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have Joey. Joey loves candy. In fact, his favorite candy is Starburst. Now, since Joey loves to eat Starburst, he gobbles them up very quickly. Now, every Starburst that Joey eats is 10 calories. Joey, being a kid, isn't very worried about gaining weight. But if you think about it, the more he eats, the more calories he's going to gain. So, let's say Joey eats eight Starburst, and each one is worth 10 calories. Eight Starburst is going to get us 80 calories. We find that out by saying, okay, eight Starburst times 10 calories for each one is gonna get us 80 calories. Joey loves to eat Starburst. He eats so many, that he often loses track of how many starbursts he has really eaten. Well, we can show an expression that represents how many calories Joey will have eaten by using a variable. If I know that each starburst is 10 calories, and I multiply that by how many starbursts he has eaten, that's going to tell me how many calories Joey has eaten. Right now, though, I don't know how many starbursts he has eaten. So, instead of writing a number, I can write the variable s. s is going to represent how many starbursts Joey has eaten. Now it doesn't matter how many he's eaten, I still have an expression, an algebraic expression, that is going to represent how many calories Joey has consumed. Oftentimes, we'll hear an expression, but we won't see it written down. The way we can figure out how that expression should be written is by checking the key phrases that are used to explain that particular expression. For example, if I have an addition expression, I'm going to hear words like some, or more than, or increased by to explain that expression. Other expressions, like subtraction, might see phrases like less than, minus, difference, decreased by, or fewer than. When it's time for us to write algebraic expressions, we'll come back to this chart. One thing that we have to get used to when working with algebraic expressions is learning how to write multiplication. When working with variables, you don't use the x to show multiplication, because x is a common variable that we use and it can get really confusing if we use the x symbol for multiplication. So instead, when working with algebraic expressions, we'll use some other symbols to help us figure out or show multiplication. The first one that we'll often use is the dot. 4 dot y means 4 times y. Or parentheses, 4 parentheses y, with no symbols between them means four times y. It's 
the same as using the x, but it doesn't get us confused in wondering if x is a variable or not. The final way is actually one of the easiest and the most common. You just simply have the number and variable right next to each other with no symbols in between. 4y means 4 times y. Let's go ahead and do some practice. Let's try and write an algebraic expression for this particular phrase, 4 less than x. Well, I know that x is my variable, and 4 less, well, less than is a phrase that is used for subtraction. So I know it's going to be a subtraction for my operation. Next thing is, I have 4 less than what? 4 less than x. So that means that I'm having 4 subtracted from x. If I had it the other way around, 4 minus x, that would be x less than 4. So be careful on this less than phrase. It's this works the same way with more than as well. Whenever you see this less than, the variable is usually going to go in front. So 4 less than x than 4 less than x. Let's look at this one. The product of y and 7. Well, I look at my key phrase here, the product. Product is telling us that it is multiplication. Now, if I remember right, we have three different ways to write multiplication, and we don't and x to show multiplication. So, I know it's times, I can use a dot or parentheses to show multiplication. Or I can just put the variable and the number right next to each other. So, I have 7 is my number, and my variable is y. One thing you should know is when we're showing multiplication, we usually like to put the number in front of the variable instead of having the variable in front of the number. It's just common for people to write the number first. Another way we could have written that is 7 dot y, or the third way we could have just said 7 y. All of these were correct. Let's look at this one. z minus 6. Well, minus tells us subtract. z minus 6. And we've just written an algebraic expression for this phrase. Let's try 8 divided by p. We know divided by means divide sign. It says 8 is the, num is the number being divided by p. So that means 8 is going to be in front being divided by P. So 8 divided by p is my algebraic expression. Let's work the other way around. Let's write a phrase for this algebraic expression. I have 6 addition sign. That means I could write plus or I could say more than or less. I could say more than, not less than. But I'm going to go with plus. That's the easiest. Plus x. And now I've just written a phrase for this algebraic expression. Here we have 4 and y. Whenever I have a number and a variable right next to each other, I know right away that I'm doing multiply. Ah, but I remember I don't use an x to show multiplication. So I choose one of the other ways. However, I want to write this as a phrase, so I'm going to write 4, a nice word that I can use for multiplication is times, and I've got my y. And I've just written a phrase for 4 times y, 4 times y. Well, that's our lesson. Let's go back and review our objectives.
first objective was to recognize and explain variables. Variables are simply letters that can represent numbers in an expression. Our second objective, explain what an algebraic expression is. An algebraic expression is like a numeric expression, except for it contains variables. And last, write expressions that have variables. If you're having any trouble with any of these, go ahead and review the video a few more times. See if that won't help. If you still need help, I suggest you get with your teacher and ask them to help you figure out how to write phrases into algebraic expressions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.